the Takbat morning almsgiving ceremony has become a must-see for travelers to Luang Prabang in Laos. This ancient tradition occurs every day with the sunrise, when monks silently line the street, while locals put gifts of food into the bowls carried by the monks. Let's watch this ancient local custom with us. It's one of the most vivid images of Laos. Lines of saffron-clad Buddhist monks walk barefooted and silently down the streets of Luang Prabang to collect alms. The locals are there ahead of them, ready with the bowls full of the Lao staple sticky rice, from which every monk gets a scoopful in their bowl. There are almost 80 temples in Luang Prabang, so this adds up to hundreds of monks. who take different routes depending on where in town the temple stands. Each monk carries a large lidded bowl, which is attached to a strap hanging from the monk's shoulder. As monks file past the line of almsgivers, who are usually sitting or kneeling on the street, these containers are reverently filled with handfuls of sticky rice, fruit such as bananas, and sometimes sweets. The orange robes that they wear are a reminder of the clothes worn by the Supreme Buddha nearly two and a half thousand years ago. In Buddhism, shaving your head and face is when a person leaves their home and goes forth to live the life of a Buddhist and renounces worldly ego and fashion. The best rice for the Takbat ritual is prepared by the alms givers themselves. The locals wake up early to prepare a batch of sticky rice. The ritual is done in silence. The almsgivers do not speak, nor do the monks who have taken a vow of silence. The monks walk in meditation, and the almsgivers reciprocate with respect, 
by not disturbing the monk's meditative peace. Almsgiving is an important part of Lao people. It supports both the monks, it is their only food for the entire day, and the alms givers who gain merit for the afterlife. You can see the monks drop some of the packaged foods into baskets, which will be taken to nearby villages. Most tourists watch the ceremony from the main streets of Sakharin or Kamal, which can get noisy and overcrowded. <laughs> For a more authentic experience, go to the little side streets between these areas as they are much quieter and more peaceful. The revival of tourism in Luang Prabang has endangered the Takbat ceremony, as many tourists approach the ritual not as a religious ceremony to be respected, but as a cultural show to enjoy. Crowds of travelers tend to get far too close to the monks and chatter noisily, snapping photographs, and they disrupt the ritual with their inappropriate noise, actions and dress. So keep a respectful distance, dress properly and don't use your camera flash. Think before taking part in a Takbat ceremony, as you are most likely a non-believer and just watch from the sidelines. Next week we will give you some more reasons to visit Luang Pradwang. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and watch the next video. Dream, explore and, and travel, travel with us. us.